You know, we talked about the challenges um, of teaching about the Middle Passage to children. And I'm looking at an image. I'm looking at an image, let's say like this one here. Um, these figures, these men who are chained and are bound to one another. Or an image here where on the ship, and you have all of these, you have all of these bodies, right? All of these black bodies that you know are experiencing trauma and pain and are physically restricted. And I wonder, how do we help children enter into this space? Well, I think one of the things that this book represents, and, and maybe that's a guide to this, this, all this whole big picture mm -hmm. of telling children about slavery and the horrors of slavery. The old African represents in so many ways the beginning mm -hmm. um, when we talk about capture and enslavement. We talk about the Middle Passage uh, and we talk about through my art what it must have felt like to be chained, mm -hmm. um, uh, to be in these cramped spaces with your sense of self being ripped away mm -hmm. from you. The old African tells this full story because it ends in a sense um, with this sense of freedom, mm -hmm. uh, of overcoming, of courage, um, and a choice um, that ended in this case um, uh, because we're not sure w w with the story of the Igbo landing. Mm -hmm. Was that a religious practice? Did they this, this sense of, um, uh, of going back to Africa um, uh, with this sense of a better life? We don't know whether that better life was a religious practice of mm. a better life, or um, or was it freedom? I guess yeah. it maybe is the same thing. Yeah. But it um, but this book represents that arc. Um, because in the end, there is this sense of freedom. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know what? You're making me think about one of my favorite images in the in the book, and that is this image. And part part of the reason why I love this image so much is because it makes me think of another really important writer who represents the Middle Passage, and that's playwright August Wilson. Mm -hmm. And in two of his plays, he has two very distinct um, scenes that point very specifically to the Middle Passage. One is in the play Joe Turner's Come and Gone, mm -hmm. and the other is in the play Gem of the Ocean. And in both of those scenes, the respective main characters are envisioning whether it is through sort of almost like spirit possession, but they are envisioning that middle passage and they are envisioning their ancestors and the bones of their ancestors mm -hmm. coming out of the water. And you represent the middle passage so, and I'm, I want to, the word I want to use is beautifully, <laughs> yes. right? For mm -hmm. such a horrible experience. Right. but. That you've got here these these bones with the flesh completely picked from them, and then these descendants of mm -hmm. those people who are fully mm -hmm. fleshed out, right. right? And then, but they are all underwater, right? The same water that you yes. were talking about earlier. They're all underwater, but then we're also, what's also represented is all of that underwater life. Right. That potentially could have eaten those people mm -hmm. as food, right? Um, but also, in some ways, seem to be almost protecting yes. those that are... In, in the flesh, mm -hmm. under the water. And I, I, it's just, we talked earlier, I'm gonna use this image, <laughs> right, as right. I'm teaching Wilson, because it's, it's such a beautiful, you know, could you talk a minute about what you were thinking and what was happening for you? 
I usually start my images. The thought process is what am I, what am I trying to say? Um, in this image where the Igbo mm -hmm. uh, peoples is all uh, led by uh, the old African in May um, is traveling on the ocean floor mm -hmm. back to Africa. Yeah. So I start with that and I start with this and then oftentimes I use words like, like purpose. Mm -hmm. um, and you see that in uh, those two lead characters, the old African and May. Um, Julius introduces the sharks as a way of talking about um, the necessity for the sharks to, to eat uh, to, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the food actually are, are the slaves that were thrown mm -hmm. overboard for mm -hmm. one reason or another. Mm -hmm. the, the sharks come back to apologize mm -hmm. uh, to these, uh, these, the Evo. This and is why so they don't look menacing, right? They aren't, and they actually yeah. guide um, mm -hmm. this group of, of, of Igbo back to Nigeria, the shores of Nigeria. So, you know, I'm, I'm mm. honoring the text um, and enlarging on the text, but I also have something as a visual storyteller I wanted to say. And mm -hmm. you can see, and it's really in these two figures, it's purpose and determination. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you've seen that transformation mm -hmm. from the slave mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. to beginnings to kind of, of yeah. the African yes. um, tribal dress. Yes. Um, so you see that happening. Even the beauty of the colors yes. of those, yes. of the scarves, right? Yeah, and, and, and the beautiful. role of red yes. uh, plays, because that was a color that was dominant. Mm -hmm. And um, in the decorative arts of, of, um, and, and the clothing of the Igbo. And I, I guess maybe this is the opportunity to go to this, one of the, the final images mm -hmm. of this book, because it really does express this sense of return mm -hmm. uh, to a, um, and we know that we, they return with a new life. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so we get this sort of joyous celebration. It's beautiful. Yeah. Returning yeah. home. Which is, again, mm -hmm. maybe this is how mm -hmm. we teach it through this image, mm -hmm. and then we just move quickly into the future. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the inauguration of Barack, President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's powerful. Yeah. So all that, all that sort of is, is wrapped. And, 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 and by the way, I should say that there's always an attempt to get there. Mm -hmm. You have to tell me, the viewer, whether I'm there or not. I'm, I say you're there. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, yeah. it. <laughs>